had a church social last night. Had way too much broccoli casserole. And from now on, whenever I go to a church social, I'm taking a boat bucket. Why? Chicken food. Good Monday morning, folks. First, I'd like to apologize for not having a video out on Friday and Saturday. Friday mostly went good. Uh, here's Friday's video, what I'm going to show you of it right now. Okay, the throttle is up. Take that. Pull that as tight as we can. Tighten that down. That's good. I may kill all the sound on that. Good luck. That's interesting. I have a sun and I have a snowflake and I have an arrow. So it's cold. It's going to be cold tomorrow. 
So let's put the snowflake over here. We got our air filter. That was pretty straightforward. Got the little clampy thing goes there. And then there's the other one over there. I think this might be easier from the other side. I'm going with not the most convenient thing I ever put gas in. Okay, I did something majorly stupid a while ago, and while I'm going to cut it out of the video where I did it, I'm going to fix it to see what i done, because it was stupid. Got those. This is a spring washer, and there should be 12 of them. These are spring washers. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. These things go like that. All right, cupped in. Those three are the exact opposite. All right, so you got that. Those are set up exactly the same. So those are springs. And you got the that's cupped in that way, cupped in that way, and those go together like that. And then these go on like that. Now, a while ago when I was greasing this, I pulled a bunch of those off uh, so I could grease it. And I made the mistake of just putting them back without calculating that. And that could be a major, major mistake. So, when you grease that, take those off be aware of that so that's where I started all right part of the problem there let's discuss this I had a torque wrench from brand new brand new torque wrench Torin torque wrench from uh, Walmart you know when you put so much pressure on them they're supposed to click uh, it never clicked never once it never clicked uh, and here's what my brain didn't understand and my brain did not understand this door wrench 25 pounds of pressure every time that that seems tighter than heck to me that's where I started all right part of the problem there let's discuss this I had a torque wrench from brand new brand new torque wrench Torin torque wrench from uh, Walmart you know when you put so much pressure on them they're supposed to click uh, it never clicked never once it never clicked uh, and here's what my brain didn't understand and my brain did not understand this. Torque wrench, 25 pounds of pressure. Every time that clicked, every time that clicked, that was 25 pounds. It took one finger. Now, I, I understand it. Sometimes I don't know my own strength, but 25 pounds. One finger? Really. Uh, since it never clicked and I was waiting for a torque wrench to click, 
I over torqued uh, the blade. I, I way over torqued the blade. And uh, this is what happens when you do that. I was supposed to be recording that. This thing's horked the blade, twisted it. It's where it popped behind that wheel right there. And then I tried to put another blade on and uh, had no success. And then Saturday, believe me, I'm editing. Uh, there's going to be very little Saturday's video here, but here's what I'm willing to show you that went wrong. Why is making a noise? Oh, hell. I've already got the damn blade off again. Okay, I can't even get this thing on and get it tensioned because it's so far out of whack. And then you get this thing up in there like that and you gotta just... I'm gonna ruin another blade before I get this thing set right. Blade back on there again. It's lined up just like it's supposed to be in the book. Now I'm going to see what happens, because if it tweaks again, I don't know what I'm going to do. Why is it? All right, I got that thing too tight. I swear. Okay. Nope. That's twenty-five pounds right there. Now it says come around here. No, oh, take the torque wrench off. And spin this. Wow, did you see that? Did you see that? It's straight behind. The... There it is. Brand new belly, fresh out of the box. Broke a tooth. Broke it off. I'm not a happy camper at the moment. Twenty-five pounds. Back it off two turns. One, two, and then it says go a quarter turn at a time. So we're going to go half a turn. Half a turn. And then tighten that back up. And then it said make sure that you got it adjusted right. And I already know this is not right. It's still off. I can see the tilt on the... God!
I broke another damn tooth. God! So that's what I'm going to show you of Saturday's video. Uh, Saturday I got started very late in the day. Uh, first thing was we had people come look at the house uh, Saturday at uh, one o'clock in the afternoon so i got up in the morning and i whirlwind cleaned uh, whatever had to be left of the house so anyway i got started really late and uh, it did not go well uh, working on the blade and i try to keep this to be in a, a family oriented vlog i really want it to be that way and i don't know what to say saturday i turned into my true redneck self I don't know what it is. $75 worth of blades laying in there on my shop floor with bent up, broke teeth and everything else. And I still don't have a blade on this thing. <sighs> Some days I am a redneck. And let's just say Saturday was one of them days. So anyway, today my entire goal... <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna go have breakfast here in a minute, but after breakfast, my entire goal for today, my whole goal is to have a blade on this, have this spinning like it's supposed to, have it running like it's supposed to, and uh, start the motor and get this thing going. And then hopefully tomorrow is supposed to be a gorgeous day. I think there's even supposed to be a sun in this guy. We don't have one of those today. Uh, I'll get to go mill. Uh, I'm ready to start working on this uh, band. I've got a bandsaw blade down here that's got a broke tooth because I'm going to line one up. It's already broke before I try to put a new blade on here. Because if I break a hundred dollars worth of blades, I'm just going to cry. Probably not, but still, I might fuss. Um, I've been looking at this. I've been looking at this hard, and it's exactly what I thought it was, and it's as simple as it gets, but somehow I, it, it defeats my little pea brain. Let's look at what we got. We got a wheel. That side's square, and it runs fine. When this thing pops off, it goes off the back here. Uh, whoever designed this thing so that it's got a nut right there, you owe me 50 bucks. Personally, you owe me 50 bucks because uh, that's what got the by the blade gets bound up on that nut right there I like to never got one of them blades out because it was so bound up on there. That's what breaks the teeth where it binds up Because there's a nut right there and the blade goes off the back That's this wheel tilts that way tilts that way Moves up. Well, Moves this way when you when you pull that handle right there, moves that way when the blade's tensioning it. Okay, now let's look at the back of it. Back here in the back. All right, you saw the wheel there. It's got a bar on it that runs straight back this channel right here. All right, there's a square tube that runs back here. You have a bolt here. You have a bolt here. That bolt there moves. All right, see? When I turn that, it pulls the wheel, all right? And right now that wheel's sitting at a big angle because I just pulled it around and it's entirely wrong. So let's put that back. Did you see how that, that goes back? All right, so this bolt and this bolt have to line up perfectly when the blade is at 25 pounds so that this wheel spins in a straight line. Now, everything I've looked at says that. This thing came from the factory. All right, this bolt was twisted all the way up against the thing. And then even after it came loose, it just, I've loosened this thing three times, three complete revolutions. And if you watch the video, you read the instructions, it says do it a quarter turn at a time. 
I've gone three complete revolutions and it's not enough. If I did, uh, mm, it's not enough. Because it was that far off. Now, maybe it was working with the blade that was on there. I don't know. I told you I screwed that up when I tightened the thing too much because of defective products from Walmart. As far as I'm concerned, Walmart owes me 25 bucks. Maybe more. Uh, they replaced, well, no, they didn't replace. They gave me my money back for that defective tool and uh, I'll never own another one of those. Uh, I went to uh, Lowe's and got an Irwin. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. One, two, and a wheel. Two points in a wheel, that's it. This tightens that up. Everything has to come out straight. That's everything there is to this. Saturday when I got mad, I worked on this without gloves on for a while just because I was that mad. As a result of that, I got about five little nicks on my hand. I mean, they're not bad, but nicks. Gloves. I recommend them. Oh, I recommend these too. Now. The blade is on. When you read all these instructions and stuff, it says you want the back edge of the blade right there at the back edge of the wheel. That's where it should line up when it rotates. So that's our goal there. Hmm. Twenty-five pounds. That's twenty-five pounds. Now I'm going to very gently turn this. Right, and it is riding towards the back. Now, exactly according to the video. One. Two. Read the instructions, the guy said, or when I read the instructions, when I watch the video and when I read the instructions, they say go a quarter of a turn. I'm going to go ahead a half a turn because, like I said, I'm three turns out from where I started. Put that back up. Just like that. And now we go back around here to the front. I'm making sure the blade is exactly where it's supposed to be. Come back to here. One, that's a half. And 25 pounds. Pound. Open this up. And it's still running towards the back. So we're going to do exactly the same thing again. Go push that blade backwards right on the other side.
Okay, that's right exactly where it should be. It's running forward on the front. That's pretty darn close. I'm gonna tighten it up to 25 pounds again. Oof. That seemed to get tight off quick that time. Maybe not. And that's pretty darn close, but it is still running back. Now this time we're going a quarter of a turn, like it says in the instructions. That side still seems to be running pretty close to true. But that one's the one that says factory set, so. I'm going to take this out another quarter of a turn. And this time I am going a quarter of a turn. I want this thing as close to right as I can have it when I do it. It is still running that much, that much back. And I mean, that might be stretching it. So I think I'm gonna go eighth of a turn. Actually, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a new blade and I'm gonna put a new blade on here that doesn't have a broken tooth and uh, see if we can set that. So. Might have gone a little much, I don't know. Nope. 25 pounds.
I'm going to go about an eighth of a turn, like I said a while ago, because that's still running just a little, just a hair back. Just a hair back. That's exactly where it's supposed to be, right there. Exactly. See this nut right here? That's the nut that goes right there to hold this thing up and down. Right? Keep it being able to do that. I'm debating on whether or not to put this back in there. And I think I'm going to put it back in there, but I'm going to put it back in there backwards. So let me do that, and then we're going to start this thing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this nut, run it through that way. I'm going to take this nut out, put it through there backwards. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll get started here. When I say it's backwards, it may not be. I may have had it backwards to begin with. But... Give me a minute. One final detail. Gas is on, choke is on. Motor's turned down pretty much. And give her a yank. Oh, that was close. Gotta get it right. That was my minor happy dance. One other minor detail that I have a feeling it's very important. And that is now that I've run it. One, two, losing attention on that flip blade. Okay, there it is. It's hooked up to the truck. We're ready to go. That's where I'm gonna end today's video. I'm gonna go try to edit uh, Friday, Saturday, and today together uh, into one video. And if I get that done, I may start trying to edit on the big video because uh, it's going to take me a while. That's going to be a long video, uh, the complete build. But um, there it is. I'm done. I'm a happy camper. Uh, I like being a happy camper. Uh, well, that's it. That's all I got today. Uh, remember, my name is Mark. I'm just some old Kentucky homesteader. If you like what you saw today, I think you might want to see what's going on. Particularly if tomorrow you want to see if the mill works, hit the subscribe button, ding the little bell. And in the meantime, you have a blessed day. I'm trying to have one in myself. It's working.